What's up, y'all? It's the Whiskey Couillons. We're about to have us a, a review on some Dickel hand selected barrel, oh. uh, aged nine years. A uh, friend of mine gave this to me and asked me if we wanted to do a review on it, and I don't say no to free whiskey, so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm John. I'll be Randy tonight. Yeah, oh, nice. I know. A little change up, yeah. huh? Curveball? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm Ryan New. Well, you know, I'm gonna go with the nickname. Go with that one. Screw the regular name, Ryan New. And I'm Melissa. Let me get some glasses, fellas. What y'all think? Alright, what are we going with? Uh, Link Karen, go, bourbon. Go with I'm going bourbon, bourbon trail. trail glass. Yeah. 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 I'll do bourbon trail with this one. And a uh, teacup. Whipping out your dickles tonight. Okay. Let's do it. So what's the, uh, what's the age now? Nine years. Nine years, okay. Yep. And this is hand selected Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, a buddy of mine uh, I thought you said it was a rye a minute ago. Took a little vacation to uh, Tullahoma. I think it does make a rye. Which they, uh, where this stuff is made at. Um, right. Brought it back, pretty good stuff. I've had a glass before. So why did they make uh, Dick Wad in Tennessee? Uh, Tullahoma. Where? Okay. <laughs> I've never heard of it before. Yeah, me either. Yeah. Gotta get the Cuyon leg up, man. There you oh, go. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, shit, I was supposed to nose that first, probably. <laughs> so, what's your taste? Ready for whiskey night, I do. We've <laughs> been ready to drink. We've been uh, trying to avoid the rain. Finally got us a little spot on the board. Yeah, it's super smooth on the nose. That definitely don't smell underproof. Yeah, it doesn't. At all. I thought you said it was a uh, 52, huh? Yeah, 50... Where was it? Oh, 51.5. Uh, 51 ABV. Okay. Alright, 51.5. That smells like bourbon. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not... It's got a different... Kind of different notes. Yeah, I don't get much vanilla or caramel right, or anything right. like that. No, I get the oak on the nose. Get the oak, definitely. Get some of that. Maybe um, something sweet in there. It almost has like a uh, like an herbal tea note to it. You know what I mean? Not like a sweet. You know, like, like bourbon's got that caramel, vanilla off top. Oh yeah. This one's like a little bit more herbal. Man, you know we can get you a teacup too. Yeah. I mean, it, it does. It smells herbal. Tea. Thank you. Out. <laughs> He's out. Oh, what's that sweet? You get kind of get like a little, a little hint of sweet, uh, something sweet in there. That might, I mean, it might be. Maybe like a little honey. Yeah, maybe that might be it. A little dusky corn. I was thinking like a little molasses. Maybe so. Give me the last side of it. Y'all are all getting all of these notes, and I'm like, smells like bourbon. Honestly, I'm it. having a hard time. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm yeah, stretching it's, it's, for it's, it. Well, I mean, it just smells smooth to me, man. You definitely get the sweetness from the grain, but it's definitely coming from corn. You know what I mean? So I do get like a dusty corn on it, but I could see your molasses on that, and um, I do get a few little herbal notes out of it, though. You know what I mean? Almost like you would. Like over blue fucking tea or something like that. <laughs> Steep, steeped it too long. Steeped the shit out of that tea. <laughs> Alright, I'll taste it. I'm not too, yeah. the nose is not that interesting, so. It just smells smooth, that's about all I mean, all I really mm. get out of it. Man, lots Damn. and lots of oak. The taste brings it, the flavor brings it. That is pretty darn good, man. Lots of oak. Kind of the same notes you get with the nose, the sweetness from that. Uh, I guess you would say like a molasses or corn sweetness. Yeah, comes out in the flavor, but then you get a lot of oak, and that oak carries on to the finish too. The oak sticks around for a while. It, it's it's right up front and it's right at the end. It, yeah. it it keeps going for a long time, but it's just it's like a one note thing all the way through, just straight yeah. oak. That's just floral. Not overly complex. I guess but floral. Yeah, in there. Floral's I, yeah, there. I can say that too. Yeah. But it's not overly complex, but man, the follow through is good. It's got a good finish on it. Yeah, it does. It doesn't fall short. It's actually fun. This would be a good cigar whiskey. It probably would. I, I, a better cigar would really just 
give this thing a little bit to push it over, you know. Got that oak with the cigar, man. It'd be. This is really, I like this a lot actually because I'm a big fan of double oak, so I like a lot of oak. Even spices from the oak. It's proof right, you know, so it's not It's not low proof, it's not high proof. You get that yeah, little bit of burn. Yeah, don't drink like that at all, dude. Yeah. It's very, I mean, it's still. Yeah. It's got that no little lift off to it. Like, it's got a little, little, little lift off. This, is, this actually might be my favorite dickle I've had yet. Yeah. Like, That's a pick or is really this a straight good. up dickle? No, um, it's not a pick. It's, it's, I don't know why the music keeps stopping. Uh, 51, 51.5%, 103 proof, Cascade Hollow, um, yeah, pretty much standard bottling, no pick, but this stuff is definitely bottle number 83, by the way, definitely brings, and at nine years I find it more, than uh, the 15, honestly. Like, it, I find it way better than the 15. Yeah. Well, it's good on the flavor, for sure. You get the nose, you get, you get more of the same, you get the same thing you get from the, the taste as you do from the nose. It's like no surprise flavor, the notes that come out. But, uh, it it's hangs off a while, it's good. It is, I find it really sweet, though, yeah. on, the, on, the, uh, on the palate, man. It's just, yeah, I like it. I. I'm actually surprised. I didn't think I was going to like this one as much. But uh, I could. Oh, we don't really give Deco a lot of props, but. This I, is, dude, I could sit is, here and just drink. Like, this is when I, I don't want to be challenged or anything. Like, I just want to sit down and drink whiskey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, yeah. I could drink the shit out of this. Right. If you're not sitting there looking for a, to explore whiskey and you just want some, a good, simple flavor to mm -hmm. taste, have to sit down and have some, uh, some whiskey. Yeah. It's up there. It's sweet. It's got a little heat from the from the uh, proofing. Yeah. Um, like you said, the oak, you know. So I like it a lot. Actually, I'm, uh, I'd go out there and see how. If I see this, I might get a buy. How much is the price on this? I didn't ask. Um, way to go, John. I, I know, right? I'm letting y'all down. I'm a Cujo, bro. You know. Look at Cujo. Little shadow in the window. <laughs> No, I like it. Uh, y'all ready to to reflect, or y'all still? Oh yeah, I'm ready. What you got, man? Me first. You always uh, lead off the reflections. Yeah, we'll either start low and build up high. <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm the low guy. <laughs> yes, you're the low guy. But you always um, give the, the lower <laughs> end of the. No, it, this one's not bad. Um, it's really not bad at all. Like. Even, so I'm going to go uh, 275. Not to say it's bad whiskey at all. It's drinkable. I like it. Uh, man, not the not the copy Thor, but man, uh, from, you know, that Thor movie. <laughs> Give me another. <laughs> I do like it. I mean, it's good. It's not overly complex. I could drink this all day. I, oh, could, I could sit back and, and throw it back. Uh, I've seen them around, though, in different stores. But I just, I don't know. I just never really went out there and sought out nickels. Yeah, I always see the Bickle, uh, the Bickle 15. I've never yeah. really seen this around. I've but. had them, but uh, I like this one. Yeah, I really no, do. It's, it's really good. Yeah. The 275, simplicity and uh, drinkability is off the charts. It's really good. Yep. So, in that in that category. So. What you got? Um, I was actually thinking 275 as well. Um, it's not, like you said, it's not overly complex. If it, you know, it... It's super smooth. I like the fact that it's very drinkable for the for the proofing on it. It's it's. Uh, it, I didn't really get maybe spiciness, but I didn't really get much heat out of it at all from, from you know alcohol or whatever. But um, I find it to be very very drinkable. Like you said, it's something you could drink all day. Um, this would be great on lots of occasions yeah you know? if it didn't have the finish it would have it would fall off even oh more. yeah oh yeah but i think that finish carries it it carried it to 275 without that finish i'd have probably set it probably about 250 or two man the only thing yeah, i think that I'm finish is probably good too. dude that finish is good the only man. thing i'm like knocking it on is it, it don't have complexity yeah the yeah, nose is simple and the taste is simple so I'm, I'm i'm right there with but you i'm with you man a good cigar uh whiskey yeah. oh yeah something i add complexity if this had a little bit more complexity i'd give it a solid three you know just but I think that right on the nose, 275 is perfect for this because it's, it is great, 
it uh it's just missing that one little bit but i mean for an everyday just i want to drink some whiskey yeah man what you know? there you Perfect. go if you ever looking in your cabinet and you're like, ah, I don't know if I want to drink this. Or, I don't want to kill my good stuff. I want to just get drunk. And then you look in there and you're like, oh, shit. Dick was over there in the corner. Pick me. Yeah. Pick me. <laughs> I think that's the first time that all three of us ever agreed on anything. <laughs> like, you know, uh, comes from a list. We're going to ruin wise, it. What you got? I am not going to ruin it. I was actually going to go to five, actually. Ooh. There you go. Only because it's not overly complex. There's not a whole lot to it. It is drinkable, but Great. Not now that we better. have to do math. No, no, not the one. Nope. I think the average is a 2.7. There we go. I'm good with that. But uh, overall, not bad in my opinion. It's uh, the better nickel product that I've ever had. So if you can find a bottle, get it, try it. Yep. You'll probably like it. It's drinkable, man. Well, is it? That's uh, it. I think we're good. Uh, like, subscribe. We're on uh, YouTube, obviously. Uh, TikTok, Facebook. Maybe Instagram coming up. Yeah, possibly. We'll see. All right. All right, y'all have a good night. And see y'all uh, next time. Who you on's out, baby? Yeah. <laughs>